Hi guys, thanks for being here. Um, it would be fun every month for you guys if I did a sketchbook flip through. Every month I keep a sketchbook and there's a lot of stuff that I don't post that I thought it'd be really fun to share with you and then also describe what is behind the illustrations because usually there's some kind of a story or inspiration behind them. So I'm going to be sharing with you this one. I try probably a different sketchbook every month so I was like let's try this one. It's really really good. So I'm going to go through this with you guys and uh, feel free to switch off at any time. <laughs> I'll try and be quick. So this is a excerpt from a podcast that I uh, was listening to. I listened to JJ Brown Yoga Talks podcast and he had a guest on who created this um, manifesto on how to be spiritually fly. So I always end up looking up his guests because they always have amazing things to say. So I looked her up and I looked up her rules and I illustrated that. That was really cool. This is a commission that I did for someone. This is a commission that I could not get right. Like this pose, I drew it three, four, five times. And in the end, we actually decided to just go with a different pose completely. And it was great. I sent it off to her, but that was not working for me. I went on a trip to Quebec City. So I just kind of documented, you know, I always document like what I spend my money on, what I'm thinking, people that I'm seeing here. This guy was really funny. And I also draw any insights that I have, which I really have a lot when I travel. Even if it's somewhere that's not far away, as soon as I leave, I, I tend to get these crazy insights. So I record those, you know, costs, things like that. feeling very tropical this day. This is like just an idea of recharging that I was exploring. This is for my Yulu campaign. I'm doing a fundraising campaign for a book and I thought it would be nice to illustrate some of the rewards. So those are up there if you want to see them. This is this actually just happened at work and I illustrated it. And this is the final uh, the final illustration I picked and posted about when I was recharging on my holiday. There's another failed version of that <laughs> of the post. I probably drew it like seven times. Someone told me that I should draw some raccoons. So there's some underdeveloped raccoons there. <laughs> yoga. This this is my friend from work. She asked me to draw her as a mermaid. She doesn't do yoga. I ended up drawing her in a few different yoga poses. She still wants me to draw her as a mermaid. Sticking to the theme of trying to recharge. This is a... I really like drawing my days off. I really think it's interesting how I end up spending my time. I always feel like I have a really a long time on my days off. The days go by so much slower and sometimes I do nothing. A lot of the times this is what it looks like. It's like I do certain things just slower than normal on my days off. You know, I take extra time. It's nice to not have to be anywhere. There's a place in Montreal called Mandy's Salads and it's like my dream place. <laughs> You can go somewhere and order huge salad and it comes in like a bowl as big as your head. So I, I drew this while I was eating my salad and I came home and sort of developed it a little bit more. And then I posted to that to Instagram and, and I tagged them in it and they posted it. It was nice. I really like these and these ones that, that they're just like ideas from my head 
These ones I usually only share with you guys on Patreon because they're sort of personal. There's my friend again in a yoga pose. She really has great hair. This is me just exploring some colors. This is an unfinished project that I was working on. Again, exploring colors. Yeah, I, I follow Deepak of uh, the Chopper Center on Instagram and they post really cool quotes and they posted some um, quotes about spiritual laws and so I illustrated some of them. It was an idea to make them into a series, but obviously it didn't pan out just yet. I don't know what this was gonna be. Something about emotions, I think. Usually when I draw a storm cloud, it, it's something to do with, with being emotionally sensitive. And that was for a yoga challenge that I was sponsoring called Find Your Balance illustrating some things I was grateful for. I posted this on Instagram and this is a bit creepy, but I, I drew my left hand because I was having a problem with a pinched nerve in my shoulder when my right hand kept going numb. And because I am an illustrator and a makeup artist, I was really grateful that it wasn't a problem at my left hand. This is, this was my idea of a perfect Sunday last week. It's really nice. It actually rained all day, so I didn't get to do this one, but I did everything else. It was great. Very basic. It's funny, the things that make me happy are so basic. So simple. I started watching some cartoons on Netflix, and then I was illustrating some of the characters. This one's from Final Space. And then I got a two-month membership to Skillshare, and I did Mary Andrews' course on illustrating your emotions and like healing through journaling, which is kind of what I love to do anyway. And then she did this resilience chart exercise that I thought was really cool. This is really topical, but I think this is something that anyone can explore a lot deeper. Like for me, I just wrote whatever came into my head at the time. But I think if you if you really wanted to explore, like the things in your life that has, have given you resilience. That would be a really cool exercise for anyone. Mary Chiasana, that's, these are the poses that I'm working really hard with in the primary series at the moment. It's Mary Chiasana C and D. So I wanted to, whenever I'm struggling with a pose, I try and explore it a little bit more and share my findings with, with you guys. This was a really cool, you know, pinch up progression post I saw on Instagram that I just thought was really amazing. So I shared that. This post did so well. I have never know why, but it did really well. Um, this is Yogi Neo. She's a really amazing, really, really flexible yogi that I've been following on Instagram for a while. And her outfit was just so awesome. And she's just so great. I thought I would illustrate it and share it. And this is another yogi of Instagram. You can see these on my Instagram page too, um, with, with font and everything. That's it. That's what I managed to get through in August. So as you can see, I made it through this much of the sketchbook. So I, you don't have to be an artist to have a sketchbook. It's really useful for working through things and you can write like poems or doodles. It's, in, it's incredibly therapeutic if you want to try it out. Um, it kind of feels the same way those coloring books are, you know, they kind of really help just distract your mind. And uh, maybe I'll do one of those one day. That would be fun. A yoga coloring book for meditative practice. So here you go. That's my sketchbook for August. So thank you for watching. If you made it to the end, congratulations. That was, that was a lot of talking. But um, thank you for being here and thank you for supporting me. And always, if you know any friends who, who might like this page, please recommend it to them. I use all the money to run my website and buy prints and run giveaways and things like that. So if you're interested in 
uh, getting a free print every month as well. You just upgrade to $10 and every month I'm gonna send you a free print. So I don't really make anything on that. It's just something that I wanna do. So that would be fun too. Thank you. Bye.